How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin and in today's video it's quite exciting. We've got a new tune revision for the GR Supra. My tuner Marin Nelson went ahead and sent me over a new revision. He said this was an update to some of the R&D they've been doing for the past couple of months so I'm really excited to see what it's all about. So just when I thought that the Supra couldn't get any faster or get any better he sends me out this tune. We're gonna go ahead and flash it on the Supra and let me show you what everything looks like before we go ahead and do that. All right, here it is, boys. And of course, we have our Ecutech um, kit right here. And in our Ecutech kit. Hi. So what's in the kit is we have this little Bluetooth dongle right in there. You also have your USB key. So this needs to be used prior to uh, updating and flashing on your Ecutech app on the computer and we also have our little dongle here which will connect to this that way it's able to be flashed so let's go ahead and get that set up <sighs> i always forget how nice it is in here especially coming from that little guy over there but i love that car so what we have here is we have our little usb cable and our OBD2 dongle right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and plug this little guy in. All right, we are plugged in. Next, we're gonna take our little desk key here, plug this into the laptop. There we are. Go ahead and load up Ecutech. So we're gonna go ahead and put the, um, we're gonna go ahead and put the Supra in diagnostic or uh, basically turning it on without turning it on mode. And I believe you push this button in three times, the start button. One, two, three. Nope. There you go. Press that three times. Now we're gonna go ahead and detect the vehicle. We're gonna program engine ECU. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop my file in there. We wanna make sure this is the correct file. 1.3.18.1, 1.3.18.1, perfect. And we're gonna hit program ECU. Pray to the gods that nothing crashes and everything goes smoothly. So while we're waiting here, essentially what it's doing is just reprogramming and flashing the computer. That way it can, um, you know, be more aggressive on the timing, I guess, increase some boost here and there, but we'll have to see what happens. Marin is, uh, has been one of the first few people, to my understanding, that's been tuning this for quite a while. He has his own personal Supra. And last time I spoke with him, his own personal Supra on a dyno was pushing 700 wheel horsepower and 700 foot pounds of torque. Um, obviously that's on a pure turbo and I believe port injection as well. Very, very great numbers. I don't know if that's something that I wanna do in the future. I'm pretty happy with being close to 500 wheel as for now anyways, but we all know how the power conundrum goes. Once you start, it's a it's a rabbit hole of, uh, of greed, I guess. Programming sequence is now completed. Success. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm pretty sure you can tell I'm a pretty big Dragon Ball Z fan. If you haven't watched it, do yourself a favor and uh, give it a try. One of the the very first animes I ever got into, and by far my favorite anime. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna leave the OBD2 Bluetooth dongle in, but remove the cable. That way we can do some data logs wirelessly to our phone. And I just dropped the desk key. Uh. All right, let's go ahead and fire her up. Starts right up. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just let it idle for a little bit, get a little used to the new flash, the new tune. While it's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Ecutech, uh, Ecutech app on my phone. All right, boys, we're gonna go ahead and head out. Luckily, right now, weather isn't too hot. I think we're sitting at around mid 80s at the moment. So definitely gonna have to do some data logs as well. We'll do uh, maybe two pulls in fourth, one, uh, two pulls in fifth. Send the revisions out and see what Marin has to say. 
I'm suspecting we're pretty much close to being finalized. He might just look at the logs and if everything looks good, we might just call it a day. But um, we'll definitely see what he says. So far, I haven't noticed anything different in normal mode. Obviously, I'm not gonna give it any beans yet until the engine warms up. I think that's one of the joys that I, I like about this car is that it's very, it's very quiet and it's very dailyable. Um, when you just put it in regular mode, very comfy actually. It's, it, it's not a ride that's gonna beat you up. So as an actual GT touring car, it does wonderful. Trunk space is pretty good too. You can fit a couple of golf clubs back there. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't personally daily this myself, but if you're out there in the market trying to find something to daily and you're willing to just have a two-seater, this is definitely a car I would I would highly consider. So the cool thing about Accutech is you have on-the-fly readings because it's a Bluetooth OBD2 adapter. So you can literally see all your sensors right on your phone. Obviously, I don't condone holding your phone while you're driving your car. This is just for demonstration purposes only. But yeah, pretty cool. I really like it a lot and it makes things really convenient. So it looks like engine temp looks pretty good. Engine oil temp looks great. Uh, the numbers look good, so I think we're gonna go ahead and pop it into sport mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll the windows down. I apologize if there's wind noise, but it's pretty warm and I kinda wanna hear what the exhaust sounds like too. So let's pop it into sport. All right, windows down in sport mode. Let's do a little quarter throttle. Just as responsive as ever. Give this Camry in front of us a little bit of room. And uh, let's hit it with a 50% throttle. That was exciting. Looks like this Focus ST is also going to Mexico. That's good. So let's see, we're gonna do a pull in fourth. Traction control system, maximum traction. Okay, there you go, stability control is off. We're gonna hit start in fourth. Oh my god, wow, that couldn't have been better timing with that cop right there. Ooh, that was a close one, guys. Okay, one more pull. Sweet baby Jesus, please let us get this last pull. Alright, my battery is just about to die. So let's get this last pull in, guys. One more, one more, and we're done. Hitting it into fifth gear, pushing that start button, and letting it rip. Push me back in my seat, baby! We went ahead and turned traction control back on. Windows back down, because it's hot as balls. And my camera is just about to die. I actually think it did die um, during that last pull. Things just got a little too hot. Or the battery's just about to die, who knows. And just like that, we are back home. So it uh, looks like my camera died after that fifth pull. Battery was pretty much running out, but for the most part, the car feels really good. Um, the tune itself feels fantastic. 
Um, little changes here and there. It does feel like it pulls a tad bit harder, although that could just be placebo. We'll have to see with the data logs, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, download those data logs off the Accutech app, attach them to my Gmail, and I'm gonna send that off to Marint, see what he says about it. Maybe he might do a couple of tweaks here and there, but I think we're closing in. I, I, if this is not the final tune, then I think we're very close to it. But for the most part, it feels pretty good. I'm really happy about it. All the numbers and the logs look pretty good on my end that I could see. Engine temp looks fantastic. And um, of course the viewer's heat shield's in there too. So hopefully everything looks good on the logs. I can't wait for him to review it and get back to me. So I think that pretty much concludes today's video. Really short, really simple. I just wanted to upload, upload that new tune, see how it felt. And luckily everything felt pretty good. So if you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, follow my builds on the GR Supra as well as the E36 M3. Go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Until next time, guys, remember, take care, respect your elders, peace.